A major decision coming down from the New Mexico Department of Health and Public Education. All public schools in the state will close for three weeks starting Monday. Action 7 News reporter Brandon Evans spoke with APS officials about this decision and what's next. He also tells us what some parents think about it. Brandon. Now, things moving very fast today. About 6 o'clock, we found out that all the superintendents in the state were on a conference call with the Public Education Department and the Department of Health, and the decision was made to close all public schools in the state for three weeks starting on Monday. Now, just to give you an idea how unprecedented this is, back in 2009, we had the H1N1 scare where they closed four districts. Now we're talking about all 89 districts in the state. Now, I spoke with APS. They knew it was going to be an unpopular decision by some, but they felt it was a decision they had to make. Whether or not kids miss three weeks of school does not seem as important as protecting the entire community from coronavirus. Now, the parents most likely to be impacted by this are parents that have full-time jobs or maybe they have a child with special needs at home. Well, here's what one parent in Rio Rancho had to say. I feel like this is the right call. This has been declared a pandemic, and I feel that it is better to err on the side of caution because of the magnitude of this, this infection and how rapidly it's spreading throughout the world. Now, before the news broke that they'd be closing schools for three weeks starting on Monday, I spoke with APS about work from home options that they do have available for some students and teachers. It's um, activities that parents can do with their children at home if they are at home. We have um, links to services for high school students that they can study for their SAT, their PSAT, which is coming up. Now, APS teachers will be at school tomorrow, no students, but any parent-teacher conferences that those teachers had, well, they're going to have to do them now either on the phone or online. Reporting outside APS headquarters, Brandon Evans, KWT Action 7 News. And the governor will be talking more about the coronavirus tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. You can watch it live on KOAT and on KOAT.com.